Did you know that you can actually do math inside of numerous Adobe programs? Sounds weird, I know. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's start out here inside of Photoshop. I've got a simple black dot. I'm going to duplicate it and change it to be red in color. Now I'm thinking I would like this red dot, its width and height, to be exactly half of that of the black dot. So the red dot selected, properties panel, there's my width field just there. Now it's currently 756 pixels. I need to divide this by two. So I don't want to do that myself. Let's get Photoshop to do it for me. So if I just type in divide by two and then press enter or return, check it out. We now have a red circle that's exactly half the size of the black circle. Very nice. Let me show you now an example inside of Illustrator. Okay, so I've drawn out a little pattern just here. And I'm thinking I would like to repeat this in a circle around this left point just here. So I'm going to select this. Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. So let's uh, make this left middle point the origin just here. And the way this effect works is, I'll just dial in a couple of copies just here. And then I'll come up to this angle option just here. So you can see, whatever number of copies I dial in just down here, coupled with the angle just here, that's the result just there. So let's say I'm liking 23 copies. So I'm going to come back to this angle field just here, and I'm pressing my up and down arrow keys to find that perfect angle. So 15 is getting close, but not quite there. And 16, you can see it just goes that little bit too far. The math just doesn't quite add up. So again, let's get Illustrator to do the heavy lifting for us. So in the angle field just here, let's change this to 360 for 360 degrees, divided by 23, which is our number of copies. I'll just press the tab key to commit that and check it out. That has given us that perfect precision we need. It's calculated an angle of 15.65. Never would have got there myself. Choose OK and zoom in a little. Fantastic. Let me show you one last example inside of InDesign. I have a completely empty document just here, except I have a single guide just here. Now the units for this page just happen to be in inches. You can see that on the rulers just up here. And with the guide selected here in the properties panel, you can see it is indeed at the one inch mark. Now the boss has just come in and told me that I need to move this guide down 50 millimeters. Okay, where do I even start with that? Well, of course, let's get InDesign to do it for us. So the guide selected, let's click in this field just here, type in plus 50, now not just 50, but 50 millimeters. I'll press enter or return to commit that and check it out. Not only has it moved the guide down 50 mil, but it's also done the conversion for us and given us a final result in inches. Fantastic. So I might uh, wrap it up at this point just here, guys. I hope that gives you some cool ideas on some of the math that you can potentially be doing in various Adobe programs, including Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Catch you later.